Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ZSR and welcome to another tutorial for the Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Towards the beginning of this year, Ocarina of Time Randomizer received a new website, a new web generator offering you all a better experience and an easier time generating your daily fix of Ocarina of Time Randomizer. So consider this a new website and also generation and beginning to play tutorial for version 8.0. 8.1 and beyond. Without further ado, let's dive into what you actually need. So let's get started. What you need, and that's an absolute baseline, an absolute must, you will need an Ocarina of Time N64 ROM file. That can be NTSC U or NTSC J, so the versions that came out for the US or the Japanese market and needs to be version 1.0. There is web patches online that downgrade your Ocarina of Time version, but you will have to find those yourself. In addition, if you want to play on Wii Virtual Console, if you want to play on the Virtual Wii or on Dolphin, you will need a version 1.2 NTSC WAD file, so a uh, Wii build of Ocarina of Time and the Wii common key. Note, and I can't say this often enough, these files are copyrighted material. You will have to find them yourself. Don't ask in the comments, don't ask in the Discord, you will not get them there. You will have to find them yourself. In addition, if you want to patch or generate on the website, you will need a modern PC or modern phone. It should have at least 3 gigabytes of memory of RAM available at all given time. And you will need a modern web browser that needs to be released or have been released in the past few years. If you are troubled on the way, if you don't know where to go, if you have questions, the Discord, the OOTR Discord is a significant resource. We will talk about that in a bit. Now, after generation, you obviously want to play. What do you need to play? You need an emulator, that's option one, or a console. On emulator or for emulators, there is plenty of options. You have the smallest lightweight one that's Project 64 in version 3.0 or higher. That's really important. Bishawk, which is a wider framework, it takes a few more resources, but also works great. And then on all platforms, including Mac, Linux and stuff. Also phones, the Switch, all these things. You have RetroArch. You have Dolphin, which can emulate the game in Wii Virtual Console mode, and a few more that we shouldn't talk about because these are plenty the options. If you want to play on console, you have the Nintendo 64, of course. If you want to play on there, however, you will need the EverDrive flashcard and you will need the official N64 expansion pack. Alternatively, you can play through Virtual Console on your Wii, you can play it through v Wii on your Wii U, and of course, there is other means to do it on a soft modded Switch. As I mentioned, the OOT Randomizer Discord, discord.ootrandomizer.com, is a wonderful resource for all you need to get started. In announcements, you will find anything that's new about the 50,000 member big community. In Welcome, you will find resources and information about everything you can find from guide threads, or channels, Racing, a plenty, development information and all that. And there's also gonna be a resources tab, a channel dedicated to information, links, maybe even a few hints or two that could help you get started just to get going, just to be ready to play the awesomeness that is OT Randomizer. Anyway, that's all we need for the intro. So let's dive into the actual website. So welcome to the new official build of OOTRandomizer.com. It's a fresh, modern, and also, well, just overall great resource for all your needs for OOTR. You will find links to the resources. You will find links to the community, to racing coverage. You'll find news articles written by Chimp and me, um, the Go Gossip Stone uh, podcast, which is basically your flex for the absolute OOTR nerdness giving us a podcast with all the recent information and also access to the development forks of several contributors having their own spin at OTR and more. What you want, however, is to start playing. So 
you just go ahead and hit the generate seed button and you get started. So here, once again, you can see what you need. You need a ROM file. You can set your options. You generate the seed and then you can patch. There's more detailed instructions here. That's all something you can read after the video, but you got the gist before. So let's dive into the actual randomizer. The randomizer consists of seven tabs offering you different options. Some are just cosmetic, some are hard required. They are all on the first page and some are just options allowing you to customize your gameplay experience. So in general, if you just want to start out, check out the settings presets that you have here. There's plenty of presets describing what they do. Some are self-explanatory, some just focus on the competitive scene of OTR. But if you're just getting started, maybe start with the default beginner set, uh, default beginner preset or the easy mode preset just to get you started. So let's try that. Let's actually go into easy mode and load it and let's see what we have here. So this is now the easy mode preset. You will get a spoiler log. Please do not turn it off, especially during your first few seeds. You will likely need to consult it at some point or you might want to ask for help in the OT randomizer discord. You're not forced to look at the spoiler log, but having it in case of being stuck can be really helpful. So let's see what we got. We selected the easy mode. So what do we have? So in main rules, just a quick overview. I'm not going to go over all these. We're going to have closed forest. So you will have to finish the forest first. Um, you have six medallions required for the bridge. So you will have to finish six medallion dungeons to access Ganon's castle. Um, obviously, there's not going to be anything like master quest, but that's an option you have. There's not going to be an entrance randomizer activated. It's going to be an easy, simple starter seat that you want. Only the bare minimum is going to be randomized. But as you can see, there's a ton of options. You can shuffle so much. There's stuff that wasn't even in the original game that's now shuffled in, like the wonder items, which are something like invisible items that can be made visible if you want to. Or that is going to give you a hint on the map. And there's going to be plenty of options. So you can go in and customize to your liking. You can remove the keys if you hate those. There's plenty of options. You can also go into detail logic, disable any kind of track that you think is going to be hard. A big one is horseback archery, the mini game on a Prona, shooting the targets and the 1500 points goal is pretty hard. Finding 50 gold sculptures around the map is going to be hard for you. So these are disabled for you by default, but you can disable whatever you want as long as, as it leaves enough space for you to get going. Enable tricks changes the logic so certain tricks that you can do like backflipping over Mido in uh, Lost Woods stuff like that can be considered in logic for you if you want an additional challenge. If you also want to have more you can add starting items from the get-go helping you to get going helping you to get a quicker start to have the items you want so maybe you want to have a bigger sword from the start or a bow or a boomerang or whatever Maybe a song so you can move quickly. That's going to be your tap. And then another, you're going to have a few time servers, random stuff that can make the experience of playing more interesting or just going to give you a better start, a better idea of where you're going. We're going to ignore cosmetics and SFX for now. Trust me, these are for specific cases, but right now we don't really want them. So let's... Leave those alone, you can leave them alone. You'll have plenty of time to set them up. All right, so let's say we want that and let's say we're just playing for ourselves. So let's just generate a seed, right? And well, Navi and us, we're both waiting for the randomizer to generate. Let's relax for a second and wait. And then we're pretty much almost done as it says, and there we go. So welcome to the seed page. The seed page is your final moment to adjust settings and your final point to A, share a seed if you want to, but B, just patch your ROM. This is where your seed lives and it's gonna live here for a few months until it gets removed. Um, the five icons that you see here are called the seed hash and they are just a chance for you 
to make sure you have the right seat. These are shown in the file menu. It will tell you, you are on the right seat. That's really important. And then below here, we have the actual patcher. So this is where you actually need to provide the stuff I told you earlier about. The base ROM, in my case, I already have that in here. But if you have it, you just gonna browse and put it in there or drop it in there, drag and drop it in there, and you're gonna be ready. Alternatively, if you are on Wii Virtual Console or Dolphin, you check that radio button and you will have to input your what file and your Wii comment key. We already talked about this. Um, the other settings can be mostly be left alone, but this is basically all you need. And now for one final interesting part, you have cosmetics and you have SFX. In OTR, there is plenty of ways to customize your game. You can, if you want to go simple, just change colors, change your tunic colors, change your eye colors, Navi colors, that kind of stuff. But if you want to go deeper, you can find models, models that the community created of a multitude of characters, characters from OT itself, from other game franchises, from other Zelda uh, games, all that stuff. You will find more info, info about this in the Discord and just patch them in here and Link's gonna look different. So we're not gonna do that right now, but you can do it. Same goes for SFX. Go crazy here, or don't. You can change voices, you can change sound effects, and you can even, and that's new with version 8.1, add your custom music. Music that was created by the community in a specific format, providing a whole lot of music from all the different genres, games, oh, different franchises again. Really fun stuff that can really up your game experience. Once again, that's something that could be copyright problematic in some cases. So you will find hints here and there, especially in the Discord, but we can't directly link you there. In our case, we're just gonna keep it to random music. And because we're feeling adventurous today, let's actually change the Kokiri tunic to be a rainbow tunic. And let's change the hard color to be yellow. How about yellow? That's fine. And Navi, just because we want to have Navi, we're gonna change her to magenta and outer to rainbow, because why not? And um, that's basically all you really need. And uh, what all you need to do now is hit patch ROM. And we're gonna do that. And while the ROM is patching, let's see what else we have. So down here, you can see your generated settings. You will see what you actually did, uh, what's gonna be in your seat. That's really interesting for you. As you can see, the ROM file is now ready. We, in this case, generated a WAD file, but for our tutorial, we want something else. So we're gonna do it again. And we're gonna do a Z64 for Project 64. So patch that again. One more side or one more part of the page that you can look into is the spoiler log. Again, if you do need to know, you don't have to check it, but if you need to know, you can come here and find any item, any location um, by just clicking here and searching for something. Let's see, where's the hammer, for example? So hammer, is in Deco Tree Compass Chest. That's how you're gonna go. Um, you have to play through, explaining you in which order the game expects you to get the items. This might not be the most optimal, but it's something you can do. Way of the Hero is a hint system that is gonna help you find out where everything is, and so on. One more resource that you really need to have is the Ocarina of Time Randomizer Wiki. The Wiki Fresh design as well will give you information about anything. It can be set up like this one that we're doing right now. It can be guides about controller settings, about setup of Wii Virtual Console, of emulators, of multi-world. So playing with other players in different worlds, but intermingled items. So you can find items in your world for the other player and vice versa, and you connect it via network. Or about racing about trackers, um, but also about logic. How does the game work? Where can you find certain locations? Where are certain items stored? That kind of stuff. And our example, for example, 
we'd go to the emulator setup page because we want to find out how to set up Project 64. So let's go to Project 64 and there's all the information that you need. There's going to be a guide for your controller, your keyboard, what plugins to use, any settings that might need to be set, all that kind of stuff. So let's just follow the guide to download the emulator and it will take us to project 64 pj 64 emucom and we're just going to download project 64 301 installer because that's what we need so we download that and let's switch over so you can actually see it there's our two rom files and the project 64 download which we're obviously not going to install i'm not going to have to show you how to install an app but that's all you need. In our case, we're just gonna start Project 64. And on opening Project 64, you're recently greeted with this support um, dialogue that can only be skipped after 30 seconds. We really support the developer. He has created a fantastic application. So that's something you should consider. Read it, consider helping, or just wait it out. It's more than fair. Um, so after you set it up, all you really need to do is one more thing. And that one more thing is quickly set. Um, you just want to set up your controller. As said again, the guide on the wiki will explain this to you in detail. But you could quickly start it, set up your controller, set it up with the correct settings. Um, like in this case, my D-pad or the C buttons. I prefer to have them the other way around um, just because it's a little easier to use. And once you have done that, just pull in the randomizer file, the ROM. And as you can see, let me quickly turn off the music for that. We're here. Welcome to the Ocarina of Time randomizer. And just to show you that it actually worked, you can see it's the easy mode. It was generated today. Let's quickly start the seed. And yes, just so you can see it, there's that rainbow tunic. There's randomized music. That's really obnoxious in this moment, but that's okay. And we have a Navi that is currently not showing. But you quickly saw her and you can't believe me. Navi colors are randomized as well. That's all. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you all learned something. If you have questions, feel free to join us on Discord at otrandomizer.com. Enjoy playing. Enjoy the game. Enjoy what we love, which is OT Randomizer. So thank you all so much for watching and see you all soon on otrandomizer.com.